And it was also interesting to see that there's Chef Client, which is the product we use, and there's Chef Solo, which is a product which is similar, but um, it's, it's, it's used in a different context. Maybe you can say when, when Chef Solo is used, or? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, let me just go back to this diagram here for a moment. So when you're using Chef Solo, uh, you actually remove the server from the, the picture altogether. So with Chef Solo, we can essentially just ignore everything that's happening here on Chef Server. And so what that means is that your cookbooks that today we're going to manage on your local workstation, mm -hmm. we'll manage those on your local workstation, but when you're using Chef Solo, those cookbooks actually get installed on the node directly, and okay. then Chef Solo will just execute those cookbooks. You, you give up a lot of things when you use Chef Solo. It's certainly uh, nice in that it uh, essentially is a cookbook execution engine, but you mm -hmm. lose some key features, which we haven't really even touched on yet, but features mm -hmm. like search um, are mm -hmm. completely invisible because those, uh, those features come from the Chef server. Uh, so with Chef Client, uh, you'll be using the Chef server, uh, and that's what we're going to continue to, to play mm -hmm. with. Um, okay. But Chef Solo itself is, is uh, interesting, but not nearly as feature-rich as using full Chef.